We have Tuberville here. Uh, it's, it's your Republican colleagues who say you're weakening the military. Oh, really? Well, are, are that's their opinion. That's are you at opinion. risk of weakening the military? No, no. As I've told you all along, if I thought there was any problem with readiness, we wouldn't be doing this. Uh, all jobs are filled. People are doing their jobs. This will be over one day. I don't know when. Uh, that would that was kind of interesting for me last night. But those were some uh, biting had, criticisms you got last night. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a little character assassination at times. But uh, you know, you got to remember what I did for a living for a long time. So I'm used to that. But we got to get all on the same page on this, uh, I, and I think we will. It's just uh, we went through something last night that. Uh, uh, but that's seventeenth time. Sixteen of them were Democrats, and now one Republican. Uh, but we'll work through it. So, so has any of this caused you to change no. your approach? No. So you're not going to drop your holds, no matter what. No. No. I mean, so, well, did, not, not no matter what. I and mean, you know, we get some re resolution from the SecDef and the President. First of all, we don't even know what the, what the policy is. They won't give it to us. We went through a briefing, and we got no definition of really what they changed it to. So they're kind of shooting from the hip. We need to sit down, talk about the policy, see if there's anything that we can agree on and get on with life. But Senator, you heard each of these senators say one by one that these, these people, these military personnel, have nothing to do with the policy. They don't, they don't have so why, why hold them up? But it's the only way I can get their attention. And I hate, I have, I've told you all along, I hate to have to do this. But somebody has got to listen to us, okay? I work for the people of this country. Okay, I don't work for another senator or president. I work for the taxpayers of this country. I po I, we polled everybody. 60% of Democrats and Republicans do not want to pay for abortion. They don't want their money to go to it. So this is not just a Republican issue. This is a taxpayer issue. So I'm standing up for the people of this country. I'm going to continue to do that. Hopefully we can get some kind senator of resolution. Sullivan, senator Sullivan described it as a suicide mission. How would you respond to that? I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. I mean. He's, a, he's been in the military. I have not. Uh, uh, but, and I've told you all, we live in the most dangerous time in the history of all of our lives, okay? And it is dangerous. And if I thought I was put us, in, put, put us all in any, any bit in danger, we wouldn't be doing this. But no why, why things, things are being done. Things are going as normal. I mean, it is uh, uh, just, I hate it, you know, that uh, a lot of these officers are having to go through this. But I work for the American people, and we're trying to get something done. And again, all they have to do, all they have to do to get confirmed is Schumer bring them to the floor one at a time. I've got three coming today, and who did that? You're looking at him. It wasn't Chuck Schumer. He's taking credit for it. I forced him to do it. I'm going to force him to do more next week. But we can be doing. I'm just holding up a group. I'm not holding up individual nominations. So start pointing back at the people like Schumer and people like. Joe Biden and, and the SecDef for not doing... All right, that was uh, our senior Capitol Hill reporter, Chief Capitol Hill reporter, news-seeking missile Manu Raju with Alabama Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville asking Senator Tuberville about his months-long block on all military promotions because of the policy on reproductive rights for service members. Overnight, it was contentious on the Senate floor with Republicans fed up with Senator Tuberville, Republicans turning on him, demanding that he remove the block. And today, Senator Chuck Schumer, the Senate Majority Leader, Democrat, obviously, is trying to take some measures and maneuvers to get around that block. We will see how much progress they make on confirming some service members, some officers to these key, crucial positions in this dangerous time.